Anybody know the answer to number five? Tom. It's one smart bird. Turkey time, turkey time. Turkey time, turkey time. Turkey time, turkey time. Turkey time, turkey time. Gobble, 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 stop. 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 Turkey time, turkey time. Turkey time, turkey time. Turkey time, turkey time. What's going on, Riverview? Today is Tuesday, November 26th. We're going to day something or other schedule. I have no idea, but you'll figure it out. Seniors, you're reminded that if you wish to replace your interstate portrait in the yearbook and you have one from a private photographer, you must submit a JPG JPEG version by email to Mrs. Hustleton no later than Tuesday, November 26th. That's today, everyone. So if you have a senior's private uh, photograph for the yearbook, you got to submit that to Mrs. Hustleton today. Attention all students and staff, it's uh, almost time for the bocce season here at Riverview after uh, this Thanksgiving break. Here's a brief commercial with some information about the upcoming season. Be sure to follow that Instagram page for some more information about Riverview Bocce. And attention all student staff and community members. The following basketball scrimmages are closed to the public. Uh, today's boys JV and varsity basketball game, uh, that occurs today again, uh, is closed to the public. I know you're hoping for a Cason's Crunch episode today before break. And we have one. Cason worked very hard in this episode to get it out in time. So let's go ahead and enjoy another episode of Cason's Crunch. I bet you weren't expecting to see me here, but I guess then again, who would you expect to be seen here? Whatever, but I do have a skull with me, and the skull's name is Billy. Anyways, roll the intro. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another episode of Cason's Crunch. You probably know how this works by now, and if you don't, well, I'm not going to explain it. I don't feel like it. By the time I'm making this, I probably have like two or three days to finish this, so I'm going to keep it snappy today. So today we're eating, um, actually, actually, no, hold on, I'll be right back. What is, what is this? What am I filming? What is this? This is a hostess. Okay. Ho-ho. Uh-huh. It's a true American classic. Turn the camera. It's a true American classic. It's not a Swiss roll. But it looks like... Swiss rolls are roughly ranked 2 out of 10. Roughly ranked by who? One bite, everyone knows the rules. This is every single time at least a 9.5 to a 9.9. And if you don't think so, you have bad taste in pastries. This is a ho-ho from Hostess. George Washington was not eating these right when he was writing the Constitution. George Washington invented These are American classics. It looked like Swiss rolls. It's not a Swiss roll. I don't know it's what to tell you. It's so far beyond Swiss roll pieces. What do you mean far beyond? It's, it's far beyond. Not for, far beyond. It's far beyond. It's Swiss roll. This is a ho American classic. Don't forget. Eat your ho-ho. Oh, apparently this is a uh, this is a ho-ho. Ho-ho's, my bad. Made by Hostess. Rich cream filling, moist chocolate cake. There's three of them in here. But I see a striking resemblance to a uh, certain other pastry. By, made by a certain other brand. Little Debbie has her Swiss rolls, these, and Hostess has their ho-hos. Yeah, so uh, Mr. George claimed that these were these are an American classic, an American state. He was saying that George Washington himself invented these. He was eating these as he was sailing the seas. You're telling me that these things have been in US circulation for nearly 250 years? Because frankly, I'd like to destroy George Washington's hand if that's the case. Okay, let's eat it.
I don't know what to say. I mean, it tastes slightly different, more different than a Swiss roll. I mean, it's not bad. It's pretty good. This reminds me of a Swiss roll. But now I have the sudden urge to start a revolution. I couldn't tell you why. I think me and Mr. George will actually want to eat one of these so he can, so he can explain to me why these are so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Case and It's Crunch. Make sure you guys go check out the RVTV Extra channel where he posts all the fun stuff we do here at RVTV Studios. Be sure to subscribe to the Ruby YouTube channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later. An American classic. They are. Case is going to take a little bit of a break for a couple weeks and then be back with a new episode before the holiday break, which is right around the corner. Uh, but for right now, everyone, be sure to enjoy your Thanksgiving break, and please remember to stand for the pledge. Have a great day.